Okay, some were asking about how the filtration works on this. A little more detail. Uh, as you see, water is crystal clear. It's been like this for quite some time. Uh, right here, the first little thing you see right there is a Oasi surface skimmer, which is fed in the bottom of a milk crate container there we'll by a 2500 gallon an hour pump. Uh, off that pump I have a one inch line that squirts the water this way here and it causes a nice current to keep flowing in the water at all times and it also causes a nice current for all the koi here to swim in. There is the waterfall and uh, that is fed by a 55 gallon drum that's buried in the ground three quarters of the way uh, and by a, a two inch pipe and it's filled with uh, bird netting just the plastic polypropylene bird netting so that there and down here sorry about the reflection the sun's reflecting off the water kind of weird here so it's really not seeing the bottom at least I can't tell on this camera phone here uh, the bottom here you see this long white thing here and there's a black two inch PVC pipe that's my modified bottom drain it's drilled with a ton of half inch holes that gets sucked up there's a check valve one way check valve to hold the water in that gets sucked up into this pipe here this pipe carries over to an Evolution ES 4500 gallon pump. This discharge T here is where the discharge comes out. It goes down here to the uh, one two inch ball valve and that goes underneath and under the ground all the way up and then under into that waterfall. And the one to the left goes into the filtration system here. So we got a ball valve here which feeds underneath here up into a two inch shower drain at the bottom of the 55 gallon drum. That there is a one way check valve with the rubber flapper. And it feeds into a sand and gravel filtration system. Sand and gravel filter here has multiple different layers. There's a big plastic crate that I constructed down here to hold the rock up. So it's got three quarter inch gravel and then half inch gravel, pea gravel, and at the top filtration part is this right here it's got uh, it's called bird chicken grit bird gravel uh, that and some uh, let's see here clam shells oyster shells I should say correction so oyster shells help buffer the water this here is an air manifold that goes all the way down to the very bottom here branches off in a whole different way in a bunch of ways. I take a shop vac, blow the air up through it with the water and all the muck that forms, it gets trapped, gets blown out. So this inlet gets closed off and the water gets pushed out this drainage out here and off into the gardens. This three inch exit here drains down into another 55 gallon drum just filled with bio balls. So for biological filtration and we have one one inch line here and a second one over here both of those feed into the very bottom of this here which is a 55 watt UV light and that all drains back into the pond here very simple filtration and as you see standing up here four feet down you can see the bottom quite clearly well, all the koi swimming down there on all the pots here uh, the are a whole bunch of baskets as well the milk crates that are holding up all the pots here for all the lily pads and lotus to grow any questions feel free to ask